For this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create a glow effect in Photoshop. The first thing you want to do is get yourself the polygonal lasso tool and go all the way around your image. Once you get to the very last one, hold Ctrl or Command and then connect it all up and go to Select and Mask. In here, you want to go over to the second tool down and you want to go all the way around your image removing and separating the fur from the background. Once you've done that, you want to switch over to the black and white preview and you want to get yourself the fur tool, which is the brush tool, hold Alt and then left click and remove the mist areas around it. Once all the mist areas are gone, you can go back to the original overlay, scroll all the way to the bottom and then go to output two and set it to new layer with layer mask. Press OK. Once we've got ourselves mittens and he is separated from the background, we can then unhide the background, go ahead and create ourselves a solid color. The color that you want to pick is you want to go ahead and get yourself a pure black color. Press OK and then set the opacity to 50%. The next thing to do is, of course, we want to go ahead and go into the second image and use the fourth tool down. You want to left click, drag this out. You want to go ahead and press Ctrl and J, and then you can hide one underneath it. So then you just want to left click, drag this into your main project, and then let go of it. Press Ctrl and T to resize this, and you want to hold Shift, and then drag the corner so it's on minus 15 for the angle. You then want to shrink this down and make it much smaller. You want to right click on here, go to Blend in Options. The first one is going to be a inner glow. You want to get yourself a color overlay and then a outer glow. So we're gonna start on the inner glow first. You wanna make sure that this one is set to screen, set this to 100%, and then set the color to 97 EAFF. Press okay, and then also set the size to 79. Moving on to the color overlay, you want to set this one to the overlay, go on to the color, and then set the color to 00, zero D2FF. Press OK. And then finally, onto the outer glow, you want to set this to normal for the mode. Set it to 50%. Make sure it's on a pure white color. Press OK. And then finally, set the size to 60. You can then go ahead and press OK. We want to minimize this. We want to create ourselves a new layer and move that layer underneath the crystal. You want to go to the brush tool. You want to go ahead and go into the options, set it to 800 for the size, 0% for the hardness, and make sure that the color is on 6Fs, which is a pure white color. Press OK. We're going to left click and create ourselves the glow. Now with that glow, you want to set this to a overlay in the mode and set the opacity to 73. You also want to create another layer above that one and you want to also add a little bit more onto the bottom bit right here to make it shine a little bit more. With this one, once again, set it to a overlay and then set this to 50% for the opacity. The last layer that you want to create yourself is one more on top of this one. You want to go into the color. You want to set this one to 00A8FF. Press OK and then we're going to paint it onto here. You then want to set this one to a linear dodge add and set it to 66 for the opacity. Now, if you wanted your glow to be more softer on the edges, you can just go back to the main one that you created, get yourself the white again, and you could just once again keep on spreading the color more. And then finally, you want to click on the crystal layer and then set this to a linear light. And that makes it pop out even more. What we want to do now is we want to press Ctrl and J on the crystal layer. You want to right click on here, go to blend in options, and then you want to get rid of the inner and the outer glow. Press OK, press Ctrl and T, and then scale this down. You want to right click on it, flip horizontal, and then double left click to apply. Get yourself the brush tool, make sure it's on a black color, and then set the brush size to about 100 and then you want to get yourself a mask layer. And with that mask layer, we're going to go ahead and make the edges much softer. And then you want to go into the effect and then set it to a vivid light. Then you want to press Ctrl and J again, 
press Ctrl and T, and then move it over to the second eye as well. We're going to edit the lighting. You want to hold Ctrl or Command, and then left click on the mask to get ourselves the selection. Make sure that you've got yourself the adjustments open. If you don't have it open, you can go to Window and Adjustments will be right here. And you want to, in the adjustments, get yourself a photo filter. You want to set this one to the cooling filter, go into the color, set it to 00FFFC. Press OK. Set the density to 23. You can minimize this. Get yourself the brush tool. And with the brush tool, we're going to remove this part right here because we don't need that area. We only want the back bit. If you wanted to preview the area you've applied it to, you can hold Alt or Option key and then click on here and it'll show you the area you've applied it to. Once again, get yourself the selection and then you want to get yourself a curves. And with the curves, we're going to scroll down a little bit more. You want to click on here and then change the input to 156 and then the output to 233. You can then minimize this you want to make sure that the opacity is set to 60. And then once again, using the brush tool, you only want it to apply to the front bit of the kitten. And it will look something like this. So next up, you want to once again, do the same as last time, get yourself the selection, and we're going to get ourselves another photo filter. Same as last time, go into here, get yourself a cooling filter, go into the color, Set it to 00F6FF, press OK, set the density to 70%, minimize this, get yourself the brush tool, and you only want to apply this one to the front area. So we'll want to get rid of the back area. And of course, this one looks like this. Moving on to the next one, once again, hold Control or Command, get yourself the selection. We're going to go back in here and we're going to get ourselves the levels. Now in the levels, we're going to scroll down and you want to set the middle point to 1.46 and then set the end one to 196. And we're going to minimize this. We're going to pretty much apply this onto the areas in the middle. So it's going to be like so. So it's going to look something like this. If you wanted to, you can make the edges softer as well by swapping over to the white color and then making them blend more. We are going to once again get ourselves the selection and we're going to get ourselves a photo filter. With the photo filter, we're going to set it to a cooling filter. Click on here and we're going to set it to 00D8FF. Press OK and then set the percentage to 100%. Minimize this. So we only want the front bit to be visible and we're going to leave a little bit on the ears as well. So it should look something like this. Now, another thing with this one is you want to zoom in and you want to also apply it onto the whiskers. Now, the way that we're going to do this is we can either use the brush tool or we can use the polygonal lasso tool. And once we get to the very last one, we want to go ahead and hold control, left click to connect it all up, get ourselves the bucket tool, Make sure you've got yourself a white color and then left click onto here and this will apply that color and you want to do that for the rest of them as well. And this is how this one is supposed to look like as well. And then finally, we want to only create one light source. So what we're going to do now is we're going to darken the back bit of the fur right here. And to do that, we're going to hold control, get ourselves the selection, and then finally get yourself the levels one more time, scroll down, and then set this to 112, which will make it darker. You wanna minimize this, get yourself the brush tool, and then take it away from here. You also want to make sure that the brush size is a lot bigger, and this will help you to blend it more. And then we can have a look at it, and this is what it should look like. And then finally, the very last thing that you want to do is finish off with the other whiskers on the right side of the face. So you want to get yourself a new layer above this one. And with that new layer, you want to go ahead and get yourself the brush tool, go into the color, set it to 00C0FF, press OK, set this to color 
for the effect and then set it to 18% for the opacity. And then you just simply want to color this in. And then you want to get yourself the eraser tool and then just simply make sure that the edges are nice and soft. And of course, get yourself one more layer above that one. Now for this one, we're going to use the polygonal lasso tool, same as last time, and then just simply select yourself the color. Hold control or command, and then get yourself the bucket tool, and then just simply fill this in. Now for this one, you want to go to the effect, and then set the effect to overlay, and make sure it's on 100%. And there you go, you are pretty much done. This is the glow effect tutorial in Photoshop.